Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Preston here, and in this video, I wanted to show you what might be the Thrive Themes killer. Now, I only say this because I've been playing around with a bunch of different WordPress themes and frameworks and trying to figure out which one of them is best for speed. Everybody knows that Google loves websites that load fast and everybody uses WordPress. So the question that I've been racking my brain and trying to figure out is, should I use Thrive Themes? Should I use Elementor? Should I use something else? Uh, should I use Diffy possibly? Or should I use something else, which I'm gonna reveal in this video, which is Oxygen Builder. So in this video, I'm gonna jump over to my computer in just a second. But what I've done is I've actually built a website with Thrive Architect and I've also built it in Oxygen Builder, and I'm gonna show you the results in Google PageSpeed. So, or it's PageSpeed Insights, excuse me. So, let's jump over to the computer right now and I'll show you, here we go. So, this is a development website. I've got two websites here. This is staging.txdigitalmarketing.com, and this is txdigitalmarketing.com, which is I'm actually launching a digital marketing agency because I have so many people that I've been helping lately with digital marketing that I'm building a real website and launching a company that's gonna focus directly on that. So this is the website that I built in Thrive. I think it's Thrive Architect and not actually Thrive Themes, which Thrive Architect is the page builder. So, because I needed a little bit more custom functionality, so that's why I built it in Architect and not in a theme. So you can see here, um, this is just demo content with my logo here, but this is what the website looks like. Now, this is not uh, super fast loading, and I'll get to that in a second. So this is the Google PageSpeed score for txdigitalmarketing.com, 66 out of 100, not, not great, uh, I, I'm not loving that, but here's the thing. Zero to 49, you're in the red. 50 to 89, you're in the yellow. 90 to 100, you're in the green, which is great job. So uh, that's, uh, it's okay. All right, uh, that's the desktop score. They also give you a mobile score, 29 out of 100. Okay, that's not good, I get it. Um, and it actually shows you everything here below uh, about what you can fix. So interesting, okay. A lot of this comes from the framework that you use for your WordPress website. Um, there's actually a gentleman in a video on YouTube where he shows, even with an empty page, how much bloat is in all of these themes. And I'll link that down below in the description. So I built this brand new agency website that I'm gonna show you the results on right here. So this is the new website that I built. Um, as you can see still, uh, same branding and then the, the menu here uh, with a lot of the content below. Still, I want to make a note that I'm using a slider, which is, I know is against best practices, but that's okay. This is just to show you uh, how everything works here. So if I go in here to PageSpeed Insights, the desktop score on this one is 95 out of 100, okay? 95 out of 100. Look at this, okay? We went from a desktop score of 66, automatically to 95. All I did was change the framework and rebuild the content there, okay? I, and I do wanna note that normally you do a like for like test, but this using a different framework, which is how the actual web page loads, massive, massive score increase, just switching that. So 66 to 95, wow, that is amazing. Now, if I go here to the mobile score, what do you think the mobile score change was? 29 out of 100 on Thrive Architect, over here to Oxygen Builder, which I'm also gonna link down below. I think it's fantastic. Uh, it's not an affiliate link. I actually just believe in what they're doing and think uh, it's one of the best WordPress themes out there right now or frameworks. It's actually a plugin, it's not a WordPress theme. But anyway, here we go. 29 out of 100 on the mobile score for Thrive Architect to the Oxygen score of 82 out of 100, okay? Massive, massive difference, 29 to 82. Now. I can actually tweak this a little bit more and probably get it in the 90 to 100 range. I just wanted to show this here, okay? So that brings me back to the question of, there's so many different frameworks. It seems like there's a new framework every day here in the online you know, community. So you know, between all these different frameworks, Oxygen Builder is my favorite right now. 
And, you know, I think, I don't think you should migrate all of your websites over to Oxygen. I think if you're already doing something online and it makes sense, I would definitely check that out. Now, if that's all you wanted for this video, you can leave now. I do want to talk about a couple more technical things inside of Oxygen Builder that you can do. So the data that's inside of WordPress, you can actually pull that in here for headlines, uh, for descriptions, especially when it comes down to blog posts and other things like that. So you can audit, you can dynamically or automatically pull in post titles, the data inside of the WordPress default Gutenberg builder, right? You can pull all that content in, have it styled how you want inside of Oxygen. So uh, really, I, you know, I've been building some websites lately for clients and I would highly, highly recommend using Oxygen Builder because of its flexibility, but more importantly, because of its speed. Now, of course, on any project, you're gonna wanna make sure that whatever framework and tools that you're choosing, you're building the right solution for the client. So, uh, a couple things that I'm still trying to figure out exactly here are, if you've got a website that is very focused on lead generation with pop-ups, with, uh, you know, opt-in forms all over the place, you might want to use a third-party solution. I, you know, I still like Thrive Leads for something like this, uh, and then syncing it to your mailing list. Oxygen, from what I've seen so far, does not have a very good way to automatically pull those in like some other WordPress themes and frameworks. So that's the only area that I would say it's not as good from what I've seen. But again, I don't do this every day. And uh, but what I do, these results speak for themselves here. What I have seen and what I do do. Uh, I mean, moving this, this is insane. 95 out of 100. It's really hard to get, you know, a 90 out of 100 on mobile, especially now since they just upgraded this tool. I think they're, it's version five now. Um, even if you run some big company websites through this, watch this. If we run apple.com through this, let's see what score they get. It takes a second to analyze the full website. Uh, definitely go ahead and use this and run your website through it. You'll learn some really interesting uh, things about this. Look at this, Apple on mobile, 35 out of 100, Apple desktop, 71 out of 100. So really, you know, it's very hard to do this depending on what you have loading on the website. But again, if you're just doing a normal website or blog, this is a great, great, great way to minimize the code that's actually loading on the page, which helps for speed. Like I said, speed helps Google index your website and, and rank you higher. Uh, it's one of their ranking signals, right? So that helps if you have everything else uh, checked off the, all the boxes there. And finally, users, people hate slow websites. So if your site loads quickly, fast, and it's light, uh, that helps people visit your website. And alternatively, it also helps because they won't bounce. So bouncing is when somebody leaves your website. If it's between you and the competition and your competition website loads so slow that they, they can't wait for it to load, they go back to Google, then they come to your website, your website loads fast, they're gonna check out your website, contact you and get your services over your competitor. So that's really the main logic behind this. So speed up your websites, check out Oxygen Builder. I think it's one of the best ways to build a website in 2020. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll put some other resources in the description. And that's it for this time. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.